Hello everyone! Welcome back to Dungeons D Nuts. I haven't looked down at my script yet. <laughs> <laughs> I have a script, I say for this. Oh, I haven't looked at it. That's not very ding nuts of you. You're not supposed to tell You're me. supposed to make mistakes. <laughs> well, the thing You're is... You're supposed to say wrong things. That's why I'm not looking at Woo! the script. Oh, yeah. no, okay, he's, good. He's, that, right. he's doing okay. He's doing let's, good, let's guys. Let's let him not read the script. Continue. Okay, so anyways, now to the script here. Nope, put it down. Okay, fine. Anyways, welcome back to Dungeons Ding Nuts, the channel where we have high levels of... No. High levels of entertainment, low levels of intelligence. Woo! Yeah! You said it right, guys. You got it. Almost. <laughs> Almost. I woke up earlier than I'm supposed to today, so my brain will not work for the first half of the session. So we'll see how that goes. We also play in the mornings now. On time like a normal person. Yeah. Yeah, on time meaning 5 a.m. No, that was me. That was time. <laughs> so before we get into today's session, we do have a little bit of housekeeping to go through, which I know is everyone's favorite thing to go through of housekeeping. Um, but first, if you want to see any of our content, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. I still call it Twitter. I know it's X. It's X for it's Twitter. X, I mean, it's not X for it, it's, it's, twi it's Twitter to me. So you can find all of our content there for any oh. reels or any updates of new content coming out. You forgot about YouTube. Well, you I was getting YouTube. to that. Oh. Well, anyway, you YouTube is a different thing. Oh. Speaking of YouTube, <laughs> you can also find our content on YouTube. So if you're listening on Spotify or Apple Music or um, Amazon Music, you can also watch us on YouTube to see our reactions and to see a bunch of new things that are going on. So check us out on YouTube. Yeah, Everything... definitely do it. You're missing all of Gavin's hilarious reactions when completely unexpected <laughs> things happen. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> when I die, You're missing just... a lot of good reactions. <laughs> we, we, we like to think we're slightly entertaining in person, but you know. It yeah. may not be true. Vaguely. But may not you be have true, to test but... it out for yourself because that's just a theory. Okay. No. 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 Drink to that. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna throw my spoon at someone who deserves it. <laughs> Wait, not, not me. Ah. <laughs> so yes, you can find us at YouTube and social media at Kings of Media. Um, you can find that's the username for, or that's the the channel name. The channel name for everything. I told you, mornings don't work for me. Oh, intelligence. It's eleven o'clock. Mornings <laughs> don't work for me. Before noon. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um. At some point, you guys are going to be lucky and you're going to get stickers of some content here. Ooh, I love stickers. So Ooh. maybe stickers of our characters of or so quotes, again. but at some point, be on the lookout for stickers and maybe, who knows, later down we'll get merchandise like um, clothing, hats, mugs. Big blankets? Big blankets. Just like just like Q has. The yes. big blanket made the out big of a reindeer blanket. skin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So exactly. let us know in the comments and on social media what you'd like to see as content and merchandise and we will try to get it made because we want to try to make stuff. Um, and I think that's most of the housekeeping, unless anyone else said anything else. Nada. Also Gavin is now officially married. This is his first session back after getting married. Woo! Woo! He's officially a man. <laughs> So we have this side of the table that is married, <laughs> and the, married the rest man. that are still searching. <laughs> All married men. We're, we're not. We're not. We're not selling our, ourselves, but we're not. We're just letting you know that we're these just, guys are married, and we're happy for them. Yeah. I, I say not when we're married today. Oops. <gasps> oh. Hit with spoon again. No. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my ring at school yesterday. That was Ooh. that was terrible. Do I have Spangers. to hit you with spoon? No, I have oh. my ring on today. Good job. <laughs> I left it in the shower. All right. right, so now we'll get into the session. So we'll go to the recap here now. Yeah, last time. Yeah, last time some eventful stuff happened. You guys fixed your ship, discovered that there's a dragon egg in it. So that's pretty nice. Better make sure that doesn't hatch and the ship stops working. Um, but, uh, yeah, then there was also the slightly relevant thing of some dude named Tyrannos showing up, having a conversation with Burning Whisper, and then attacking him. Um, it's totally uncalled for. I'm a nice guy. Well. And then you guys managed to get away from some random old man helping you guys get into the Fey Realm, which, you know, technically an upgrade to dying. <laughs> And but yeah, so now... Marginally better. Q does not like it. He would have preferred death. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, now you guys are traveling through the Feywild. Um, 
the traveler guy talked with you guys. He pointed you in a certain direction, and he has since vanished. You guys are now have now just completed a long rest, and yeah, that's where we're at. So, you guys all wake up after your short and long rest. This happened last session too, but you know. Yeah, I made a, sh uh, a long rest very short. Half the length of it, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you wake up and the surroundings around you have completely changed. Um, you guys went to sleep in like a random clearing, like ran like nice looking trees here. It is now winter. Yeah, oh. Outside? Oh yeah, it's freezing. We have blankets. I redistribute the blankets. <laughs> I hate this. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> I hate this place. <laughs> <laughs> it is an interesting place for sure. Changing weather, changing locations. It brings me back home. <laughs> you Did you have Baywatch? snow in the Underdark? Not in the Underdark, but the Iron Heights, yes. Oh. Where are you from? Everywhere. <laughs> that, that's fine. <laughs> he says, giggling. Finn, like, yawns loudly and stretches, and you look over and he's just lying in a circle of perfectly green grass and night of uh, green grass. I'm gonna go take a spot. <laughs> All right, you go over, and as you put your hand up, well, it's not big enough for you, but, like, as you put your hand over, it feels like summer where he, in that small bubble where he is. I'm gonna stand that small bubble. It's right <laughs> over him. It's like, about waking up, he's gonna stand Don't, don't bother him. No, don't. You don't like a grumpy thing. I'll scratch you. Oh, he's done worse. Mm. It's, I'm just let me. Mm -hmm. Looks uh, Finn just looks up at you and just like I'm reaches fine. out a hand, reaches over, grabs your boot lace and like unties it. I grab him. I just put him <laughs> under my arm. Bernie was put him down. Uh you catch him attempting to pick your pocket on his way up. I slap him. Finn, you're now my heat source. Immediately gets significantly more frigid than it was so far away from him. <sighs> Never mind. I just drop him. You're not all sad. Duger has an idea. He lands <laughs> on the snow and then just like walks over to Flynn and just climbs up and hops on your shoulder. Hey, buddy. So, Finn, where you, you've been here, you know this place, where should we go? I think the old guy told you that already. That depends on where you want to go. Wait, did I hear him talk last time? He's saying this telepathically. <coughs> Never okay. speak in front of Burning Whisper. <laughs> <laughs> Never speak. So I was about to say something. Wait, wait a minute. Wait the monkey minute. talks. I did say, but I do want to get your input. Do you think we should kind of go in that general direction, or? Well, <sighs> sorry, I'm not used to people not knowing how it works here. Gilling, you can't accidentally get somewhere here. If you want to get somewhere, you have to try to get there. It's not something you can accidentally do. You have to have a clear outcome in your mind or you're just going to wander around in circles for eternity. I, that makes sense. That is how you get from a place to place. It's a lot more here. Like In the material realm, you can walk down a road and it'll always end up in the same place. Here you can walk down a road and it'll lead you where you want to go, but if you don't know where you want to go, who knows where it's going to take you. And even if you do know where it wants to go, you want to go, if someone wants to stop you from getting there, it can be even more complicated. Fair enough. Question. Why are we in the Feywild? Despite, you know, it being the only option of not dying, but why are we here? What is our goal? And where do we eventually want to end up? I think those are some questions that we need to answer first. Well, I'm pretty sure we just, you know, go that way, like the old man said. And what's that way? But what is just that said way? that way. You, you said point that way. way and suddenly you're pointing straight out at the cliff. None of you saw the cliff get there. No, I have no idea how long it's been there. I just had a you little chat You want us to walk off a cliff. <clears throat> I guess the old man wants us to walk off a cliff. It's more I think than that. you... I, I don't think we should go that way. From what I am understanding, the Feywild <laughs> is the Feywild. And therefore it's going oh, to Feywild. Words. 
wise words. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I think but it's cooking. I think we need to determine where we want to go first, and then we just walk, and we will probably end up there. So then begs the question, where's our destination? Exactly, that's what I was asking. Back to the material plane, <clears throat> at least is my destination. Where so, do we need to go in the Feywild to get back to the material plane? A portal of some kind. Yeah, probably a place that connects. Is there any specific location in the material plane? Could we use this as a way of traversing quicker than we could normally? Jumping in between the Fey realm and the material plane? I mean, it might work. As much as I despise this place, it, we might as well make it useful to us. Okay, I'm going to walk over to uh, Danny. And I'm going to be like, you're from here, right? Just kind of cute. <laughs> well, I mean, can you help me cross this cliff? <laughs> uh, um, okay, um, I kind of put my arm up and like, come on my shoulders, go check this out. <laughs> okay, Bandy now, just don't poop on it. Bandy, don't poop on it. Don't, don't start walking to the cliff. <laughs> and as I, once I get there, I'm just gonna like try to. Kind of step over the cliff to see if it's like I can he step really on it. All right, you go take a step, and you immediately start falling. But then suddenly, like you're after like three feet of falling, like your foot lands on something, and what was previously a cliff is just a three foot drop now. Hey guys, <laughs> it's not a cliff. It was. You all see this now too. Like it, like you, at, like if you were watching, Q, you were watching at this time. The landscape. When it changed, it just like, it seemed like it was like for just a moment, you could almost see like two locations simultaneously and then the locations became one and the landscape changed with it. I hate quantum superposition. <laughs> <laughs> quantum, super, quantum entanglement. <laughs> Where are we going though, Burning Whisper? I think it's back to the material plane, probably. What? Okay, so let's make a plan here. Yes. So we need to get back to the material plane, but we don't want to go back to where his friend was. And how did you meet your friend? Which friend? The old guy? No, the one that tried to kill us. I was just walking, touching stuff at the stone to see if it exploded or not. Yep. And then he came up and he just started talking to me because he was we were walking through the city. Over there, over there. I'm just gonna ignore the fact that you're using the sword all over Millie. But okay, so he just showed up here. She probably has a way to track him. I was trying to figure out how to use Possibly. Sword probably like, has some kind of. Oh. No. Taking that thought out of the, the, the brain. I'll use the sword anytime. So we know that we can track down with the sword when you get out of here to get back to the Northern Isles. But I don't know any real locations down in Northern Isles to get us there, to kind of fold space in on itself. Was there any kind of maps that we may have passed by in this city as we were looking around? Like any, or does anyone know of any like cartography up there? Have my map. <laughs> Sailor friend, would you like to explain the problems with cartography in this area? Yes, I would love to do that once he comes back. I swear if he lost the map, I'd be upset. <laughs> he lost the map. He lost the map, guys. He lost the map. <laughs> I don't know if you can even hear him. I'll just like point my mic towards him. He just had it the other day. Shower too. <laughs> <laughs> like I left my ring. <laughs> David, I'm gonna look at the that Finn. Like, Finn, uh, I know the the old guy said like you can like change stuff in the Feywild. Uh huh. Could we perhaps use that to somehow understand this thing? And then I pull out the sword and kind of motion it at him like this. 
as you move it towards him, he's going to like take a very large like, like he's going to hop down from your shoulders, like stand a little ways from it, like just like consider. Okay. Uh, he was asking if he could use the Feywild to figure out more things about the sword. Probably, but I'm not sure. The Feywild itself might not do it, but there are people that could help him. Well, probably we could use the Feywild. Okay. Um, I'm not too sure about that. I wouldn't trust it. Um, but there might be people here that know more if you figure out the sword. Maybe we could go there, try to... Potentially, yes. You guys see those birds? I don't know, do I? As you're looking around, there are, are quite a few ravens circling around this area. Like, it'll, a ways off, but like, they're getting closer. Ah. Ravens aren't over the death in many religions. That's not ominous at all. Yeah. <clears throat> um, no, okay. Are they like... Perhaps we should get moving. Are they over like the path where I'm, I want to go, or are they like in a different area? Adjacent, but not on. Oh. So perhaps we should not go that direction. But it's the only... It's not the only way. This place is stupid. Oh. We can walk in any direction. <laughs> we can walk this in any direction stupid. and get to where we need to go. Mm. Well, yeah. As long as we know where we need to go. So we need to find a portal. Okay. To the material plane, that will lead us to an island that is north of where we used to be. Simple enough. Yeah. Just, just ask me one I, I did. I, it was a whole thing this morning. Let's just... We're going to head in this northern direction towards someone that can help us with the swords. March. Um, Start marching. All After right. staring at him for a second, I'll, I'll follow him, I guess. <laughs> so, t- you're, sp- you're looking for someone that can help you with the swords? That's what you said? Yeah. All right. I need you to make me a charisma check. Yeah, do it. <sighs> we'll use this one. You can do today. it, Eli. I, my life depends on it. <laughs> charisma check, you say? You yeah. Charisma. I'm figuring out the DC. Right. What's an average? 13. Cruise? A little bit above average. 13. All right. Yeah. Cool. Um... You start walking off, like, just start walking somewhere, uh, looking for someone that can help you with the swords. As you're walking through, um, you start going through, you've passed through all four seasons within the first, like, 500 feet that you walk. Ooh. Um, and then you get a feeling that you need to turn to the left. Just, like, it honestly reminds you a lot of when you're wearing the amulet and sailing to a place that you know where you're supposed to go, like... It feels like if you want to show up your destination, this is where you need to go. Alright, now we gotta just divot a little bit to the left here, guys. <laughs> I know where I'm going, trust me. Alright, okay. you, you start following him. As you follow that impression, like, you keep going, and you feel another one after a little while to take, uh, to instead of going over a fallen tree trunk, to go underneath it. I'm just gonna... Go under it. So I can just have a feeling here, guys. Mm-hmm. Going in the right direction. You come out, and I'm as you do, you're in a step c- over it. You're going to step over it. Yeah. F- Flynn is not on the other side of it. I kind of look under it. Flynn's from, over there. No, from the other side. Oh, there's nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the other side. Your Flynn's on the other side. I'm gonna shrug and like lift up a little bit to fit my massive frame <laughs> under it so, and walk. And, and then I'll, I guess I'll just go under and keep going. All right, you pass underneath the arch. Um, and suddenly the sound of ravens calling is louder. Um, they're circling right above you. Q? I told uh, you this is where we needed to go. Uh, actually, like the <laughs> the number of ravens is significantly smaller. Um, there are and, like two ravens come down and just like land right in front of you, Flynn. Just like seems completely without any fear of you, without any sort of hostility either. Just like comes up and just like walks over to you, just like looking straight up at you. I'm just gonna. 
Hello. You just kind of give like a, a slight little bow. It, just a cup, like it, the, the raven just looks up to you, just like caws at you, twi- uh, like caws at you twice, and just like clicks cl- 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 and speaks to you ah. twice. Yep. Ah. Ah. Hey, buddy, can you um play translator for me, please? I don't speak bird. These are normal birds. Oh, they're not fey birds. No, they live here, but they're normal birds. Okay. There's lots of ravens in the fey wild sometimes. I thought they were gonna be like some high, mighty, powerful fey thing that was trying to trick me. Oh no, there's lots of rave pe- fey that like to pretend to be birds and things like that. But these ones are normal birds. You're not supposed to tell me that. No, I'm. S- uh. <laughs> you almost said the S word. <laughs> scared. <laughs> no, I'm. Uh. It's like okay. But I, I can translate that. that. They're hungry. Oh, I don't. Uh, guys. I think they want your food. Birds are hungry. My food. They can't have my food. No. No giving them food. I... They want food? Yeah. Birds Anyone got any spare rations? I pull out my pack and then get some of the hard tack rations and kind of crack them in. Bird, like, they just go over, like, look over, just, like, start pecking it, pecking it, and just, like, caught, like, looks up, caught, uh, uh, like, caws at you, and then, like, after they, like, French fries out of my bag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, like, they, they, they peck at the hard tack until they, for a little bit, come up, um, circle around your head for a moment, Q, and then land on one on each of your shoulders. This is a poor old. Um, and then flies off, and they both fly off. Well, you did feed them. Well, I think I remember a few ravens don't forget. Like, they remember faces and things very well. So maybe they'll like you and come back and help us. I just look over and, like, see a person standing by a tree and just knocked on it to announce its presence. I you hear the a, unsnapping of a holster. <laughs> there is, and immediately goes towards Sword. Just, all right. right. So, person, as you look over, you see a tall man with dark skin and raven black feathery hair, like raven black hair on his head. Um, he's holding a staff and wearing, he, he's dressed as you've, so in a way that you associate with druids. And he looks completely human, but looks can be deceiving, obviously. Um, of course. A very, a very good omen that. Uh, oh, good omen? No, nah, not a bad one. Oh no, there are many bad omens. But two ravens approaching up and asking for food. An old friend shall be crossing your path soon. Who the freak came up with that? <laughs> it is nearly the way of the world. Have you ever studied religion? No. I can tell. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever studied anything? (laughs) Hey, I know you don't like this place either, okay? Might I have your names? (laughs) (laughs) You may call me Terrasteoliasis. You can call me Mr. Whisper. Oh. Uh, Very nice to meet you both. And I would be careful about giving your true name out. Well, that's not my full name. It's still your name. Your true name. Part of it, but still a part of the true name. What was so wrong with that? Knowing someone's <laughs> name helps you understand the soul of the thing. And when it's something as close to the soul, it is more easy to manipulate, especially here. I don't trust you. Lee I guess I see. Uh, I still don't really understand. Just for now, use a different name when talking to people. Go by Joe. May I have your name? I am Bjorn. Bjorn. Maybe, maybe I'll... What's it in the name? Do Bjorn Rahan Rafan. Call you what? Alan. Alan? Yeah. Alan that doesn't is sound my, like my name. name. Well, of course it's not my true, my true name. But I am Bjorn of Rahan Rafan. Huh? Why did you give is that, that name? is that a name that we've heard? Yes, you've heard, that, you've heard this one before. Is that the one with the? No, that's Renderful. Yeah, there's Renderful, Rafen, Drag, uh, Doragon. Rafen were the people that were like wizardy and stuff, right? They were Feywildy. Feywildy, yes. There you oh, go. They were wild. We're in the Feywild. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah. 
And then there was Ursword, and what was the last one? Um, sorry, I need to remind myself of my own clan's names. Wolfrier. Wolf. Nice. Okay. And of course, Style, but. Yes, but. Confusion. <laughs> confusion. Will. Well. I am. Durung. Hmm? Pleasure to meet you, Durung. Mm-hmm. What is it? What was your name? Oh, uh, Rita. Rita. Pleasure to meet you all. Now, <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, is, is there a reason that you are that you have brought these three outsiders to the realm? Well, kind three. of fell in. Uh, I mean, we're all kind of new to the Feywild here. You can see visible surprise on his face as he says that. I am, as well. Pardon my assumptions. I thought that you were one of uh, one of the clan. I've been... I've been getting that the last little bit, um, which is strange to me. But, um, yeah, nope, not, not fame in any sort of way. Oh, no, the, the clan has no fame. There are many that have... There are a few that have descent from fame. It is... You remind me of someone I once knew. Cool. Well. Hmm. Who might that be? Just wild guess. Uh, it was. It's probably Zamora. Uh, no. No. It was a. Cayete la boca. A friend of mine. He lived. <laughs> a member of Fran Raffin his, himself. He lived with us for many years. Until we. Until a couple of unfortunate events, and he chose to leave the Northern Isles, head to the Southlands. Interesting. I thought it would be someone I knew, but I guess not. Um, well, yeah, we're just kind of trying to find... So, here's the deal. We have a few things that are really troublesome. Our friend here has a sword that pull it out. is very dangerous. Yeah, want to check it out? Do not touch the book. I'm kind of like walking towards him with it. He, at your warning, like is going to like put his hands behind his back and like look over and lean over towards it. Suddenly, Q, you see a mo- like a very quick motion from above. Like you look up and you see a raven fall straight down right in front of his feet. It's just straight up dead. No, I don't think that is. No, no. no. Whisper, Touch put the sword the, away, the, please. The, the dead crow. No, no, no. And black mist flies out of the blade. It flies out of it and goes into the blade. You did it again. Stop. Burning whisper. That's what you were doing on town. That is a terrible. Not cool, Duger. Terrible omen. Stop call. I can agree to that. Strong. <laughs> put the blade away. Stop touching it to things. How am I supposed to like, try to do that? Controlled experiments. That's so the sword had nothing to do with this raven dying. Yeah. That is one of the worst omens that could possibly fall just a person. Good one, a bad oh, one. No. Is there is like bound down there? Well, no, both of them will occur. You will encounter your old that old friend of yours. And you will be very soon encountered by a sworn enemy. One that's hunting. I think it's the one who's after your blade. Oh, I didn't think it was him. I guess I'd rather not run into him. I'd rather not run into anybody. <laughs> it seems it may be unavoidable. Omens are powerful. I suppose they still hold sway here in the Feywild, strange though this world is. I would say that they are the origin of the omens. He, he kneels down, looks over at the bird. You're being hunted. Whoever the person is that this omen is warning you of, they're on your trail, and they're following you. How the freak did you know that? <laughs> there are many omens. This one is one of the most clear. Do you have a book of it or something? With me. Mm. There are many omens, though. Dang it. We, we have Kron Raffin build a 
build birdhouses for the ravens allows us to observe them and to learn more of the future by observing their behavior and seeing which omens are occur. Were you wanting his omen book? Yeah. I didn't know you could read. <laughs> I can. He just doesn't like to. <laughs> Not very good at it. <laughs> oh. Thanks. He's better with the blade than with the book. Which is what we need for our reading. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have apologies for our bickering. Oh, of course. It is of no work, but no concern to me. I am simply wondering why it is that fate has led you across my path. Yeah, we kind of were looking for someone to help us with the swords. Um, this one. And also this one. It's apparently lunar steel, uh, made by elves. And this is broken, so maybe we should start with it. That's what I recognize. Oh. <laughs> I. There was a woman who came and visited our clan quite often. She had that blade. Elven. <laughs> Elven. Tall, kind of stern. I see that you've met this one. Yeah, met her. Um, but was taught by her. Ah, makes sense. That blade has been in her family for for generations. She pa- she intended to pass it to her son. She had a son she never told me about. Had. He passed on some time, but many years ago. I'm learning things. <laughs> Actually, he was a member of our. He was a member of our clan. His father was the chief. But... Yes, we have not. Scandalous. <laughs> she would come and visit. She was, a, she was one of the few outsiders that was truly accepted into the clans. She received complete welcome and adoption into the, among us. We have not seen her for some years, though I've heard rumors that she came once again. And we heard, at least I've heard some things about her fleeing into the Feywild. Um, at least to me, she's been missing for the last uh, couple years, at least. Um, yeah, uh, she talked about the Feywild. I thought it was her home. I guess not. Well, I suppose in a way it was. But if you are looking for information on her, then I would go to the village. They may not... Visiting from this side may lead to some confusion, but I can lead you to a certain place that you may be able to continue your journey. But with that blade right there, what I can tell you of it is that it is... There are many strings of fate tied to it. Hmm. That is all I can truly say. I don't know much about it. I've, but I've rarely seen... The omens have been erratic recently. He looks up towards the raven circling the sky, and also you notice the star... Like, it's daylight, but you can see the stars perfectly fine up there. You see now, like, surrounding the sun, like, it looks like the night sky. It was not like that ten feet ago. Is that another omen? Oh no, that is simply something of my domain. I have claimed this area as my own. Mr. Religion Boy, what does fate mean? Fate? Or whatever you said about you know. The strings of fate are a concept where it is something that ties people or things or timeline times together. And so a string of fate, perhaps you could say, two lovers lead two lovers to one another if fate would have it. Or perhaps a string of fate is snipped when someone is killed. There are several theories regarding this, and I don't know why I'm sounding so scholarly. Let me just put my glasses. Let me, let me put my glasses on my nose. You just see the fake. <laughs> see Birdie whisper just like no. Uh, to put it simply, it's how I'm fate falling works. In love. Do not do that. Fate's just many not believe curse fate woman. leads you like, to something. Not such a way. People could say fate lead led you guys to me, or fate led us to beat Venora. A lot or of people fate say, led the sword to you. A lot of people say fate leads you to something. 
What? An Many invisible people... force leads you to something. Many people consider fate to merely be the path that you walk. Your decisions will lead you somewhere, and you are always going to be there. The directions that you choose to go are your fate. Sometimes, strings of fates are attached to that to encourage a certain path to be taken. Destiny, perhaps? Another familiar term we may have known. It's kind of like... Finn is going to jump up onto Flynn's shoulder. Wow. He's yeah. dumb. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. He's... Uh, I'm average. He's, he's, he's not. I'm average. He just understands things different. He has a very specific Is that a nice knowledge. way of saying that he's dumb? Just the field, actually. <laughs> it stays between me and you, buddy. Skills. <laughs> None of them require intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we come in. <laughs> uh, what, what is your intelligence score? If I'm zero. Or, no, it's 11. <laughs> it's 11. I was like, it's, it's zero. zero. We have the <laughs> same intelligence score. You just you just know it. I don't. This won't play. I just know I have proficiency in religion, I guess. That's, that's, that's yeah. our difference. Anyways. You said... <laughs> so you made the stars around the sun. Yes. I observed them to a, an attempt to learn more of fate as well. Huh. huh. Interesting. The omens involved with the ravens are well known, but those of the stars have been proven to be just as accurate, though not as well documented. I'm here to do my research on them. Oh, I see. You seem to be very well knowledgeable about this thing. I seek to learn. I met a dragon that, and that gave me some instruction on this. And so, as since then, I've been doing some of my own research. We met a very interesting dragon not too long ago. Terrifying yeah, was dragon. Sword. Yes. Um. <laughs> is that the story we need to get into right now? I mean, you can. I'm curious about it. Basically, the sword. We met this dragon that was on our ship for kind of no reason. It seems at the time. And then that he was doing something with the sword. The dragon took notice and like walked over to the sword, and then it like started to glow, and then it like completed the sword with like light. I don't know if that makes sense because it's broken right now. And then the dragon didn't touch it, but then like got scared off and it went away. So it had something to do with the dragon. But no, no. Well, then I suppose that is likely a dragon forged moonblade. A what? A dragon forged moonblade. There are many ways of forging magical items in order to be able to maintain power, but one of the ways of creating a most unique blade that is known only to a few of the, those in the Northern Isles involves using a, a dragon providing the power to do so. Great. Dragon. Specifically, dragon a, ship. specifically a, moon, a moonstone dragon is required to do so. Locker and Dreams was the last one to create one. About, I like believe it was <laughs> five millennia ago now. What do Moonstone Dragons look like? Would you happen to know? Waves his hand and an image of them arrive, uh, uh, is conjured. Does it look anything like the dragon that we saw on the ship? Absolutely. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, not exactly. Not scared. exactly. <laughs> so, here, for any of you that don't know what a Moonstone Dragon looks like, this is the ima basically the image that he conjures. Oh, very oh, nice. That's that's nice. <laughs> Dragons. Imagine a more fuzzy and furry one, and that's what you guys saw. Oh, okay. Yeah, the one we saw was kind of, I'm going to use minor illusion to kind of show the one that we saw. It looked like this. Very similar. Terrifying in nature. It was this not one terrifying. Looks approximately it was like terrifying to me, okay? This one looks as if it was less than 10 years old. And you were frightened by it? <laughs> he has a. Uh, Look, he has a thing with dragons. Wait, he the, doesn't like them very much. Right. <laughs> yes. Yes. Would it kill you to pay more attention to things that happen? Well, I. Mean, you're drunk. You, yeah, he, you were. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> he reaches up and I'm, just pats your hip. <laughs> <laughs> I look I down. Through. I'm a little on edge in this place. <laughs> I, I can understand. Me too. It's a little weird. But cool magic stuff. <laughs> I 
I just laugh. It, it may be young, you, like, so but I have a very strong aversion. Yes, thank virgin? you. Aversion, aversion to dragons. After it's the many <laughs> stories that I've heard as a sailor, I just don't trust them. And a wise decision to be made in those circumstances. I can assure you that one is unlikely to cause harm to is unlikely to cause harm anytime soon. It is too young. It is a momentous occasion that it is here at all. There's not very many. There are very few dragons born, and very even less moonstone dragons. They're very uncommon. Uh, we also have this egg, this dragon egg that powers our ship. Um. Yeah. I'm no expert on dragons. If you wish to know more of them, then you will have to go to find someone of Ram Dragon. They know much more than I do. I don't know. He seems kind of trustworthy. He, he doesn't seem hostile. Stuff. That's what I thought the last guy was. And then I almost died. You also are a terrible judge of character. <laughs> Maybe. We're also kind of in this Boy, guy's yeah. domain. domain, and we're not dead yet. We're still so. mad at me because I... <laughs> I'm very weak. I cannot make major changes. Merely things close to my soul. So more affecting yourself than others. Not exactly. It was more that it, it. There are many types of changes that you can make to this realm, but the parts of you that are the most essential to yourself, things that are part of your soul, those are the most easy to bring out. If I were to decide that I wish to make a mountain appear, I unlikely could, I would be unlikely to succeed at that. I'm not powerful enough to do so. But to change the sky to allow the stars to shine during the day. That is something close to me. That is something that is a part of who I am. And so it is not too difficult for me to cause that change, despite the fact that it's being a large change. Well, I'll explain later. I don't need to know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay burning this place. You're still part of our group. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, man. So, so if, if... Sorry, continue. No, go ahead. Someone can only chain, make changes in the area around them which are similar to what they already know, is what you're saying. Yes. But that is only possible for one of Fae descendancy. Not necessarily. Those of Fae descendancy can make any sort of change. I personally have no Fae ancestry in myself. That was my next question. That is the only reason I can make the, I can make these changes all because <laughs> they are close to my soul. But anyone could, in theory, in the Fae Wild, pro would be able to claim an area as their own to be able to make it, to make it as their soul is. Hmm. And if one doesn't have a soul, all beings have a soul. Do we suddenly very interesting? Yeah, that's an interesting. It's a very interesting. Well, I'm just gonna. <laughs> I, see, I see you look at me like <laughs> undead tend to not have souls. I was curious if. Uh... Well, there's a debate about that one. Yeah. There is some intense debate about that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see where you see where Q stands. He's firmly on the side of, they don't have souls. Yeah, I kind of side with our friend here. Most most beings, if not all beings, tend to have a soul. Um, it's kind of, a, if my understanding is right, a key outline of things. Souls are part, souls in, are indeed a major part of things. I am no scholar of, of the arcane, but even I, I seek to understand that to a certain extent. Or have a soul. Speaking of which, in a way, yes. We still need to recreate our um, team. I do. <laughs> we haven't taken a long. We did take a long rest. We did take a long rest. I just didn't do it. Very <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> sad about it. It's like, oh, um, that's right. I need to grieve for just a little longer, guys. <laughs> you also need to remember. <laughs> It's been well, a little while since I've done anything like that. <laughs> thank you. I think this is very helpful information for all of us. 
very. No. I can't wait to claim a little bit of my own land. <laughs> That's what I call me. <laughs> 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 the sun shall never set on the British Empire. <laughs> <laughs> it will never set. Well, we will be going down to that village then and hopefully run into that uh, dragon. Hopefully run into the friend before you run into our enemy. I don't want to run then watch your step. If anything, you run into a wall. You <laughs> said, <laughs> I just stepped off a cliff, bro. How am what I supposed was... to watch it? <laughs> you don't know what's in front of me. <laughs> and what's this village name by chance? Or at least a direction that we can be headed to. Why are we so mean to Burning Whisper all of this? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a way of coping with this. There are various <laughs> routes that you could take. If you, was stressed, I mean just if you wish to go to the sacred heights of, uh, of Fran Raffin, then... I would recommend not walking straight into the village from this side. I, it, it would be wise to exit at, uh, at one of their other outposts. There is a outpost that Ron Renderful uses occasionally that has another that has a fairy circle in it. It's well into the Northern Isles and close to the borders of Ron Raffin. I would encourage you to head to that direction. I think it's a direction that we need to be heading in. Oh. I agree. Thank you, friend. Hopefully we cross you again and you can help us some more. If fate allows it. Final question, are these ravens yours? Oh no. They do not belong to anyone. They simply have come because I provide for them. I understand. Then I suppose we shall be on our way. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your hospitality. It's always, it is always an honor. Much glory is achieved by being kind to strangers and guiding them in forgotten realm, in forgotten paths. Indeed. May the gods watch over you. You always have find welcome and warmth. You always find welcome. Do it the opposite way. Well. <laughs> He's like doing the cross, he's like... <laughs> <laughs> he's like... <laughs> Burning whisper. All right. Like this. After... <laughs> we just like, see. <laughs> it's a flash. After that, I who's going to be thinking about like... He's going to just like start thinking about that, but also... So, you brought up a good point. We need to know new names for each other, in case we run into something a little bit more dangerous. I don't want to be out. The wrong. Doron. 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 What does that mean? Doron. No clue. But it sounds dwarven. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Doron. Uh, I'll use what I told him, Rita. And are you yeah. still Alan? No, I don't want to be called Alan. Then what do you wish to be called? What are you talking? Um, mm, mm, just call me bro. Bro? Bro. <laughs> I mean, it's better than your actual name. <laughs> I'm saying in a sense. <laughs> like For those that aren't looking, <laughs> you just see Bernie whisper and take a double take at... <laughs> <laughs> no, in the sense of like... At Flynn. <laughs> no, in the sense of um, your name not being stolen from you. Your name's fine. I didn't mean to take shots at the game, bro. And I am Terra Steely. Uh, Terra Steely Sus. Terra. Steely? Terrace. 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 Oh, man. Terrace means steel. Terra. Terrace. No, you're adding an extra thing. Terrace. 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 No, there's not, there's not a T. Terrace. Terrace. <laughs> Terrace Yeah, see, there's the, there's Well, no, he's adding thing. more. I, you are changing the meaning of the word. I'm just doing what. I don't wish to be called terrorist. Meanwhile, <laughs> <laughs> that could cause unforeseen. Can I call you content. Steely? Sure, call me Steely. Steely. Anything is better than our actual name. Steve Dunson. And I'm Finn. Huh? Did he say that loud? No, he says that in okay. your head. 
Can anything happen to you if we call you Finn? That's not my name. Not my real one. That's Wait, what is your name then? Just like, just, just big monkey grin showing the fangs. Fair. But you know I can't do anything to you. Oh, you can. What do you mean? Why does everyone keep saying I can do stuff? Oh, you could do a lot if you That's cool. I just... But I'm a human. I'm not a fake. I can't manipulate things. That's a good name. Okay, okay, so... You can control the outside right now. You can't control the inside. If you know someone's name, you can control the inside. I'm gonna start sorrowfully like walking close next to you. Ooh. So I, I I was I was putting in my name. So my names are all based on Finnish, if you guys weren't aware of that. Um, and so I put in uh, Terastio, um, kind of short word, and it means an act of steel. Ooh. And I'm like, you know what? I like that. Terastio. Terastio Lisus means steel, apparently. Um, so does Terras, but Teros uh, Terastio. If any of you guys speak Finnish. Um, I'm really sorry, because this is Google Translate I'm using, <laughs> but um, Terastio, I'm going to say, means an act of steel, because Google doth decree it to be so. Anyways. <laughs> Terastio. No! <laughs> okay, so... Terastio. Durun. Terastio. 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 Bro. Terastio. Uh, Rita. These are the names we're going to be using while we're here. What? What was his again? Durun. 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 <laughs> we can just oh, say he's our friend. Yes. <laughs> that we let him tag along. <laughs> he is mentally challenged. <laughs> <laughs> no! The shot. He's just an educated guy! Y'all remember how I made it so you guys Go gotta boost your charisma to be able to fuck match your character more? Yeah. I kind of want to give him a debuff to intelligence for that same reason. <laughs> Stop playing your character so Stop it! <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> give him a, what, a seven? Stop! <laughs> not, not, that's not that's just barely. That's, seven's barely enough to have understand spoken language, which I, which I think is like accurate. <laughs> not normal knowledge. Does he understand spoken language though? That's debatable. Do he <laughs> understand spoken language? Ah, that is also debatable. Anyways, so um, walking. What do we see around us as we were like talking about new names? All right. So as you've been walking around, um. It has been shockingly quiet. Like, there's been very little change. Um, I need you to make me a charisma check now, though. Uh, well, first I need you to tell me your destination. Um, like, the the entrance of the village of what the guy said. The All sacred right. village? Yeah. We're gonna use... Those are two different places. The sacred oh. heights and oh, the village okay. that he's yeah, don't, don't, don't think about going there, please. I won't. You guys do kind of want to go there. That is your destination, but like they're not going to take it very nicely if you come from this side. Yeah. I rolled a two plus three <laughs> for a five. Uh oh! Bad's about to David happen. got excited. <laughs> five is not matching that DC. That means you just changed the Feywild. Time for a fight. Oh. But wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. So you're starting to wander around, like looking around and uh, like trying to get through it. You, you get uh, like you start thinking about the like the, your destination, you where you want to go. Then as you're going and like you like start pressing your will against it in a way that's starting to become kind of familiar. Mm. But as you do so for just a moment, like you start thinking about like the Jeez, fate please. things that yeah, the guy talked that about. Probably was on my mind. Like, how? Like, is there a way I could take advantage of this? Like, be able to like use like use it with divination magic in order to learn more stuff. And as you th start thinking of that, like you push on it, and like Feywild shifts, and you feel that, and you start feeling like once again the directions that you need to get you know, to, to start going. All right, I'm just gotta keep going this way, as fate wills it. So I guess and just. Do you go on straight? Um, you start going, and your path is actually shockingly straight. Like, you're not needing to do very many turns, or, like, you, you take, start envisioning like, an iron rod. Yeah, it's it, it's going pretty, like, it's it's a pretty normal path. As you go, it starts, like, it starts getting darker. Time is passing, like, it's getting late, and the sun is starting to get close to the horizon. Um, and then, like... At, like it's roughly like six o'clock, like time period. Um, you're walking and the ground starts getting a little bit like softer, like wetter. It's warmer now though. Like it's not cold any longer. 
Um, <laughs> you start walking, and like the air starts getting humid, and like mist starts going around, and you get a feeling that you need to walk straight into that mist. Just gonna. Feels weird, guys, but this is the direction we need to go. Not like this. How All right. Do you, know that? you walk in. Uh, take it, uh, like walk in. Oh. And like the air starts smelling dank and kind of musky and all that. And you walk through the mist for a good like five minutes. And then like the mist clears out a little bit and you are at the edge of a very large swamp. Well actually, no, it's not too large. It's three times the size of Shrek's swamp. No, no, it's, it's a large, much larger swamp. It's a very large swamp. Three times the size of Shrek's right. swamp. I'm that's the, that's, that's the measure of the swamp is Shrek's. Americans will use anything with a measure <laughs> to, to measure. It's not like three, and three Shrek's of Shrek's swamp. <laughs> we really will use anything. It's just like, fine. And the amount, and, and there's approximately 16 clouds worth of mist in here. <laughs> okay, no, I get that. Uh, when clouds. I envisioned the village, I didn't envision a swamp. Um... Kira, do you want to take the lead now? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're in the right place. The you, the tugging in your head says the center of the swamp is where you're trying to go. <sighs> this is the place, I guess. I'm just gonna go towards the center of the swamp. Okay. Look at Does Duger have right. like an uneasy feeling? Does he feel any sort of weird magics? Roll an Arcana check. Can oh, I just roll a gut feeling? This sure. one's sitting on 20. No, a, no modifier, just roll. It's an 8. Arcana check. You're feeling like that, that but like this seems about right. 19. Okay. There is definitely some weird magic going on here. I think you nice. just talk to a dude and probably trust him. Um, you don't yeah, know, sure. you've never <clears throat> encountered anything like this before, but like, The magic changed. Like the flow of magic is different now. And as you're trying to think of how you feel like, wait a second, I do know this. I felt this when Flynn changed the amount of time that like how time flowed earlier when we took the rest. Mm -hmm. Like the you, you feel distinctly that Matt like the magic is flowing to different rules than the weave normally wants to do. Guys. I'm getting some really weird vibes from the magic here. It's flowing very, very differently than it normally does. Can I roll a vibe check? <laughs> That's what I do. You could roll a religion check. <laughs> I will roll a religion check. That like, is this is something I can... What are you I'm talking about? The last time I trusted my instincts, it led us to the guide. This is... It's telling just to go straight to the swamp, and I'm like still trudging through. Well, that could be slightly better. I got a pretty um, good feeling about it, too, guys. We'll probably be okay. <laughs> Never mind. Turn okay. the rest. <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen. Not forty-one. Sorry. I, I thought it was <laughs> just a crazy count. You also feel the, the like the difference in it, but like on a different level. Like it's not. It's less of an ana analyzing, like looking and seeing how it should be. Someone has claimed this area as like it almost feels like a divine domain. Except not nearly <laughs> on the same magnitude, but it has similar. It would not be the kitchen. <laughs> it would seem that someone has claimed this area. So we're trespassing. Very much so, yes. Um, Why are we walking in the dark? Like this? No. Perhaps they can help us, or perhaps this is the way to the village. Finn is going to like, in, like telepathically say to you. There's usually more than one way to get to where we want to go. Maybe we should try to find a, like, maybe try to find a different path. Yes, let's, we're just gonna just turn around and The, the feeling out. is still pulling, telling you that you need to go to the center of the swamp. I'm going against my gut feeling. It's like, nope, this is someone else's land already. I gotta trespass here and just walk out and... All right, I need everyone to make me a dexterity check. Oh, oh snap! Check. For walking through a swamp with that on uneven, poor footing. Okay. Dex check. 17. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A dexterity check, just straight dexterity. If you have armor that imposes disadvantage, have disadvantage on this as well. That imposes disadvantage on- On stealth on checks. Stealth checks, okay. <laughs> well, you see. Uh, Dang. Seven. 
that's not that's not great um 15 15. That's not great. That's not great, bro. I got a seven. All right. I rolled an 11. <laughs> As you're walking, just like walking through it, Q was just like clunking forward and then like steps on poor footing and like crashes into a pool of water. Just like, whoa. It's huge big, splash. Big splash. And like, he's big really splash. Huge splash. Um, everyone roll me a d20 for absolutely no reason. Except okay. for you. You're good. Okay, sweet. I got a 19. 19? I got a 19 on my dex one. 14. On this one. All right. Um, just like maybe fates on my side. <laughs> Q splashes into there, like throws up a huge splash and like cloud of mist. Um, you two are fine, but like without even like you're not thinking about this, so like it's not a thing that you're trying to avoid. You just like inhale a big chunk of mist and like get some water in you, and you start feeling very sleepy all of a sudden. Can you make me a um, I believe it is a wisdom saving throw. I do not want to do that. <laughs> I refuse. I say no against that. Oh, which is good. I don't think it works like that. Uh, 15. 15? DC is 15. Ooh. You do not fall asleep. But for just a moment, like, you guys notice as, like, Flynn staggers and, like, his eyes roll up into his head and, like, he just, like, catch it. Like, he falls to his knees, but then, like, you maintain consciousness. Okay. So am I still underwater or, like... You can stand up. It's it, like you can hit the touch the bottom. Flynn? Okay, we need to get out of here. I mean, I can touch the bottom of a lot of things because I'm really <laughs> tall. Was that poison or what? No, I think it's something similar to a sleep spell. Uh, we need to get out of here quickly, though, before more happens. Mm -hmm. I so. could not agree more. <gasps> Gavin, your uh, Duger, uh, uh, Gavin, who is thirsty, just takes a drink. Duger's feeling a little thirsty, like takes a swig from his water skin. I need you to make me a wisdom saving throw. Also. Uh oh! A wisdom saving throw, you said? Uh huh. Oh boy. <laughs> of course. Oh boy! <laughs> Three! <laughs> you guys watch as Duger like puts his drinking skin to his lips, takes a big swig, and then collapses completely unconscious. <laughs> I'm gonna step over to him and like inspect him very briefly. Man, he's what was in that drinking skin. <laughs> can, I, can I inspect? I wanna inspect his drinking skin and see what's in there. <laughs> uh, how are you inspecting it? I'm smelling it. <laughs> Alright, you're smelling it. It smells like water. Don't. Drink that at all? But no. Dwarves usually have the good stuff. That's is this poison not gonna be okay? I wouldn't trust it. A uh, 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 terrorist. Yeah. Terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> Let's um, quickly out of here. Yeah. Let us away. Do any of you guys want to try to wake him up? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Well, I probably will try to shake him at least before I pick him up and be like, "All right." It, you can use an action to wake him up, but like it's not like he's in a deep sleep, but like you can wake him up. Who did it? <laughs> I'm like waking up, and you're just like, <laughs> it's a gentle. It's like, we need to quickly. Yes. <laughs> what? What? What happened? Do not drink your water right now. Okay. <laughs> Do not drink the water. Do not avoid everything here. This is someone else's domain. We need to leave quickly. I'm just going to keep trudging and trudging. leaving. All right. You start trudging, <laughs> and you realize that the sun has basically set. It's been an hour since you arrived here. So it's dark? Yeah. But also, it wasn't an hour till dark when you arrived here. It's much later to dark. Clearly wants us to stay and not to leave. We want to cast light on the shield. All right, it produces dim light. Hold up. Create I suppose bonfire? that's better than no light. It also produces dim light. Oh boy! And together we make dim light. Because <laughs> <laughs> guess what? I don't have dark. Guess what? I do have. Dark, dark vision. Oh, what dark vision. <laughs> a very good dark vision. Just leading back, I think Flynn's thing is like, all right, we need to get back. I don't know where the place is, but I do know where that druid was, so that's where he's trying to go to. All right, so um, make me a charisma check. Okay, give me the good one. I'm going through so many dice here. <laughs> the good one? There is no good. The dice gods were the same. Uh, no, that's 21. 
past. Oh, one second. I need to figure it out. <laughs> I can't use mine here. What is your? Your So you got a twenty-one. You said. Yes. You are like okay. I'm gonna go this. Like you fixate only on this guy. Push towards it. And you feel like the Feywild's starting to bend, and then suddenly it goes back to how it currently is and resists your change. Mm. What do you want from us? Then who are you talking to? Whoever's domain this is, because they clearly don't want us to leave. <laughs> Thank you, Wesley, for making glorious things happen. What? <laughs> he messed up. He just said uh, Flynn's real name. I said Finn. I didn't say Flynn. Oh. Monkey's dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're very, very <laughs> lucky. <laughs> you're very, very, very... <laughs> Wesley, you have no idea how well, close you were to causing so disaster. We need to check now. that. Roll that tape back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess we're good, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, someone does not want us to leave here, bro. Remember, <laughs> do not use any names. If you start to my name, I will clock you in the throat. Terrorist. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Roll to hit. All right, I'm rolling to hit. Try to, like, um, sense... 20. 17. <laughs> where this person could be. <laughs> Boom! Of, like... Just like, hey, I know you're here trying to keep us out from leaving, so come out and let's just work out a plan that benefits us more than you. <laughs> I don't think Let us be civil. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're you're trying to what kind of like, sense? Are you trying to like describe to me in specific details what you're doing? So I'm I trying to like what you what kind of check to give you? Kind of trying to call out the person. I'm like, hey, just stop your hiding, come out here face to face, um, and just get him to like approach and we can physically see him. Or her, we don't discriminate. All right. Yeah. Or it, because it's my family. So or you're going. Animal. So you're trying you're to like this. speak and call them out? Yeah, or... speak and call them out. All right, roll a persuasion check. I'm good at those. I am, it's caught. Yeah. Um, That's better, too. 26. All right. You shout that out and it like oh, rings no, through the... Oh wait, no, never mind. Not 26. Sorry. I was looking at the wrong one. Um, 23. All right. You shout it out and it rings through the swamp and you don't see any response from it. You still know where we're going. I have an idea of where we're going. Can I try to like perception around me try to see if I can like sense any like pull or like of magical pull direction kind of thing. That would not be perception, but you could try to do that. Okay. You may make a religion or an arcana check. Okay, I'll do a religion check to see where I allow the... you to do religion only because you're a cleric. <laughs> I'm going to make a little box <laughs> that detects again. magic and cast detect magic. There's magic. Third hope. Okay. <laughs> Thirteen. Yeah. Um, oh, I know. The magic but... isn't at, doesn't actually appear to be trying to get you. Okay, actually, most of the magic that you can detect around here isn't trying to get you to go to any particular spot. However, there is a little bit of magic in here that seems like be tugging on you guys to go towards the center of the swamp, right where he seemed to be leading you. But it's not the majority of the magic here. That's well, all that you can tell. With I'm just gonna say, let's continue to the center of the swamp. Perhaps that would be good. Question. Does any of the magic seem malicious? Detect magic cannot tell you that. Detect magic can tell you if there's magic and what school of magic it is. And so I will tell you plenty of that. Um, there's some really weird magic going on here. Um, uh, one second. I'm flying, boys! I need Woo! to look up a particular yeah, spell to find out what kind of magic <laughs> There's most of the magic here is transmutation magic. Transmutation <laughs> magic? Uh huh. Um. Um. Stuff that I have. Um. Yeah, it's mostly transmutation magic. 
with a little bit of divination magic, or more accurately, inverted divination magic. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> huh. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Sorry. Forget that divination stuff. It's abjuration. Abjuration. That makes sense. Is it inverted? No. Okay. That's. Nice. <clears throat> you see? Interesting. Oh, I, I can put some things together. Yeah. There's so really, there's a lot of transmutation magic here, and a little bit of abjuration magic, which is. Abjuration There's also the tiniest bit of evocation magic, but it's not like explosion evocation magic. It's doing something, but it's so small that you can't tell. And there's also magic. evocation magic, but there's so little of it that I don't know what it's doing. Perhaps so you said dangerous. evocation, transmutation, and abjuration. Yes, sir. It's Exploding, the domain. Shielding. Seeing. Okay. No, changing. Transmutation, not, I thought divination was still changing. Changing, shielding, exploding. Magic to protect you, magic to transform, and magic to... A bit. Evocation is more... It doesn't feel explosive. In... Very small sure. explosion. But I can't tell what it is. So if you can make a very high arcana check, I can tell you what kind of... What the evocation magic is. Okay, I'm going for it. Is it my I'm going spell? for it, guys. Don't mess up, don't mess up. Maybe the dice have a That's Oh, that was almost a 20. <laughs> <laughs> that means it's 16. Low. Oh, 16, not bad. It feels similar to sending or message, which are both evocation for some reason. I mean, I don't know what. Well, it could be dead. I don't know why they're doing this. Let's just go to the swamp. Well, we are in the swamp. Well, where they want us to go in the swamp. I'm gonna just keep tabs. Also, it is very dark now. Does my dim light and my shield help? It helps as much as dim light does. I'm gonna try it. Which is not much. Not much. Does my dark vision help at all? Yes, you can see in the 10 feet. Oh, also, the dim light will not extend more than 10 feet from you. Okay. You can see as if it's totally fine to see in the dim light, but dim light's a serious impediment. Like, at night, right after the sun has gone down, when you can barely see things, but you can kind of move around without walking into stuff, that's dim light. Darkness is literally unable to see that thing. And that's what's out past that. I'm gonna try Except it. for the stars above. You can see those perfectly fine. Use the stars to navigate. We're lost. Lynn! <laughs> oh, I didn't say that. has decided that we're lost. <laughs> I didn't say that. From now on, if you guys say names in, in character, like, it's gonna be in character. <clears throat> Rita! Yes. Rita! Yes. Do you know how to travel by the stars? A little bit, yeah. The stars are not what are you're used to. Not these ones. Not these stars. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of ways I have to travel through the sea. Stars. <clears throat> I'm gonna try at least to cast Dancing Lights and just heavily impose my will on them to be their full brightness. Charisma check. <laughs> All very. So, question for you: How far out can you send them in Dancing Lights? Um. Um. I can I can move them up to sixty feet <laughs> to a new spot. Amazing. Um, he his alike, it looks like I can create them out to a range no, of one twenty feet. Sure. It doesn't say it has like a a range of oh it can only be X amount far. I can just I guess each turn I can move it sixty. They feet. have to be within twenty feet of another light created by us. As long as two lights are by each other. <laughs> How many lights do you create? You can you create four torch sized or one medium sized. So four torch sized and they have to be twenty feet away from each other. So that means a maximum of 80 feet. Okay, cool. Yep. Oh, Christmas check! 21. I'm calculating the DC of what you're trying to do. <laughs> I just want my lights to be more, but just did math for it. That means it's bad, guys. I'm not gonna down it all right now. Would you like to know what the DC was? No, 16. 20. 
much I love our little magic boy. The lights. <laughs> you love our little magic like boy. Like you push against it and you feel like there is a, another will that has already been imposed on this area. You are in someone's domain. They don't want you. Yeah. They don't want it to change. They're happy with the way it is, but you also feel something else. They're not actively contesting you. This is just the way it is here right now, and because of that, it wants to stay that way. But since they're not paying attention against you, you can push through. You push and like you focus on the way it should be. Like Reality is something that you are very familiar with. You know that this is how it should be. The lights should be bright enough. This is unnatural. I'm putting things back to its natural state. You push and break through the barrier and the lights, all of your lights immediately burst to correct brightness. It's like these small, just ships is what the lights look like. These small oh, little like ships that. floating mm -hmm. around and just... <sighs> okay, now we can see better. Let's get to the center of the swamp because someone didn't want me to have my lights just like looking up and around. I oh, I'm very aware something's going to I think happen. we're going to get the, the better after. Perhaps. Let's go to the center. I'm going to trust that feeling and just... <laughs> Alright, so. You are in a swamp. It is not an easy to navigate swamp, so I need someone to take the lead to navigate through and to roll some sort of check that you can properly justify to me. I... No. <laughs> I'm saying I can take take the lead and just try to like, just like trudge through it like athletics, just try to like kind of physically just like plow a path in front of me right. for everyone. Duger is like spinning. His All right, his sounds good. Make okay. an athletics check. I'm like athletics checks, and I'm praying for guidance. Since <laughs> I'm like, oh, you just let this be a normal field trip. <laughs> with, with no, no way. way. Uh, well, no way. Uh oh. <laughs> That's a 15. That's not terrible. You are but, trudging uh, through. There's a fair <laughs> bit of splashing, and you guys can't see very good. Even you can see better now, but like, I need all of you guys to make me another <laughs> random <laughs> roll to see if any water gets in your mouth. Okay, I might actively try to not. You don't have to. <gasps> Fifteen. Nineteen. Four. That's great. Flynn, make me another wisdom saving throw. This guy is drinking. I would have imagined closing my mouth while doing it. Well, That's yeah, but like you occasionally I, open your mouth to speak or to breathe. I hey. 12. <laughs> All right. Suddenly Flynn collapses and sinks under the water. Don't, 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 and don't. concentration is just broken, so the, the lights, lights are, gone. are gone. Well, my, I still have my dim light on my shield. At yep. least. I'm like, going to reach down and try and keep him from going off the way. Down. Roll a d20 to see if you can properly grab him blind. Oh, gosh. I hate and the fate wild. So Do I add anything? He's in the water and it's darkness, so it's yeah, a swamp. he's basically... Do I add anything? Nope, just tell me what the rule is. 13. You successfully grab Flynn by the collar and pull, pull him back up. Was there a 50 50 chance if I could? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Guys, can we wake him up? It's really dark. <laughs> you wake up. <laughs> I'm going to reach into my pack and pull out a rope and just be like, hold on to the rope. Just in case. It's a good decision. Tie let's let's together. tie ourselves. Yeah, tie it, tie it, tie it. I don't like. I'm just gonna. I'll tie it to my belt. Take a scarf and just tie it around my mouth. And... The scarf is soaked in water. You just fell completely in the water. I'm just not doing that then, knowing it's soaked <laughs> in water. Just. Go under. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Don't drink water. <gasps> no! Oh yeah, that's gonna be, I didn't consider that. <laughs> you, you could completely go into the water occasionally. <laughs> Anyone, any? I have my shoulders. Uh, Terrace, you still have those blankets. I do. We might need to tear a bit of fabric from them, make some kind of mask so we don't ingest any kind of water or gas. Hmm. I thought it cost more around everyone. Ooh. I'm gonna be like, a lot. Perhaps I should use this other cloth instead. Just like pull out some. So the, the, the blankets are kind of like just fur. Like, I don't know if that would help too much. We can just self get ourselves while reaching. And I have some rags. So I'm going to take some rags. They're clean rags, except for like blacksmith stuff. 
Um, so they're not clean at all. <laughs> I, I keep them in good condition. Um, so we can take the rags out and like and hand them out and say, try to keep them breathing without this. All right. You no longer will have to make any more rolls about seeing if you guys get any water in your lung, in your mouth. Um, Just keep trying to get to the center. Though all of you are starting to get quite thirsty. Um. Assuming that you're not drinking any of your own water. After what happened? No. <laughs> Let yeah. us continue our way forward. All right, you continue your way forward, and after a time, you see a like you see a little light, like a campfire. Is that it? Is that the guy? The the pole seems to be bringing you straight there. Stay on the edge, everyone. I'm gonna pull up my sword. Duger stops spinning his gun. Just the magic one. Oh, wait, you're, you're doing what? I'm pulling out the anti Cool. All right. I'm going to extinguish the shield. I don't have shield. Galti. <laughs> <laughs> Duger, you're drinking water. <laughs> no. no, no, no. No, no, no. That's Gavin <laughs> drinking water. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I'm drinking G Fuel. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a component of water in it? No. No. Uh, Gavin, <laughs> Gavin makes a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> what do you roll? Ten. <laughs> Gavin falls asleep. <laughs> oh, no. All right. right. So yeah, you start heading towards the light. The light is yeah. As we walk, I just want to put my sword in the water to see what happens here. Stop touching your sword to things. All right, you just start moving your sword through the water. It doesn't do anything. It gets wet right now. A wet sword. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's all I have. Yeah, you don't observe anything at the moment. But yeah. All right, you're heading over. Is there anything you guys would like to do? Like, how how do you want to approach this? Cautiously, and um, I want to try to throw <coughs> mage armor. You can cast mage. Okay, you cast mage armor. I I don't think we should try to sneak our way. He definitely, if anything else, he knows that we're here. If nothing, can splash. Yeah. There's no way I can be sneaky in this area. Just <laughs> careful. <laughs> Just, <don't even. laughs> Just, <don't even. laughs> Just careful with our words. I think five times before we say anything. And you six. You can count that high. I can. He has that many fingers. Okay. <laughs> All right, bro. Terrace. <laughs> like, wait, wait Dora. Rita. Ben. Yes. Names only. And buddy. So we walk up, I guess. Yeah, we'll just go up to the guy. Am I still in the leader? Like. Yep. Okay. Splish, splish, splash, right. splish, splash, splash. You splish, splish, splash, and you know, like Yoda's hut in Dagobah. Uh. You basically walk up to that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we were kind of sent here. Good fellow. Are you saying this from like outside of the hut? I thought it was the light. Hello? Anyone in there? <laughs> Hello? Cricket. Cricket, sploosh, cricket. splash, sploosh, splash, sploosh, splash. Hey, burning with, uh, no, he's burning town. <laughs> Do you want to go knock on the door for me real quick? How big is it? Is it really as the size of Yoda's? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll go knock. It's small. I'll go knock. I'm in the front. No, I think, I think drones should take care of it. I will knock. Because he's... Yes, this is scary for them. <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> Just kicking it at this point. <laughs> as you, like, knock, knock. The door just like opens as you touch it. <laughs> and get down on the ground and like, hello. <laughs> Inside of here, there's all sorts of random stuff. There's a bunch of like things that you associate with wizard spell components hanging on the walls. A small bed made out, like frame bed made out of sticks and things like that. Um, the light that is coming out of the windows of this place is comes from a fire, which is just as bright as it should be. Um, with a cauldron on top of it that is stirring itself with a random ladle. 
and pierced. Is anyone home? It appears that. Hello? It appears that there are no people inside. Unless. There does seem to be some magical things, a soup, a soup stirring itself, some magical components. Boxy, detect magic. You. Um, that magic, what is animate objects? And the, the spell, it, without much deduction, you can tell that the soup is stirring probably itself an animated lo- animate object. Um, I would say conjuration magic, probably. I'm trying to see if anyone is invisible in there is the main thing I'm looking for. Ooh. That is an excellent question. And answer, you cannot sense anything that is, it's transmutation magic, the conjured, the, the animated thing. Really? Yeah. Um, you find... You should step in. Like no that. illusion magic present, which is odd, considering the fact that there should like basically always be illusion magic present in the Feywild, but like, you don't find anything. I'm gonna start going through the stuff. <laughs> All right. Hey, drone. Roll investigation. Yes. Drone, can you give me a bowl of soup? Hmm. Hmm. Seven. <laughs> All right. You're poking around and you find all sorts of weird knickknacks. You find some things that you're pretty sure are arcane focuses, a ton of random components. Like, you find uh, you find all sorts of really weird plants. Um, uh oh. You have, there's like wolfsbane, um, some sort of like ivy looking thing that is hard as steel when you touch it. You find some random berries that are glowing and you decide are best to not be played with and Probably shoot it away from. Like you find, also find some other really weird things. Like you find a shrunken head. Ooh, it's pretty cool. Um, oh. Several random bits and bobs of stone and a severed mummified finger. Just some highlights. Like, there's a lot of things of this sort of randomness. I eat the Lots of random things. I also saw that detect magic box up. Various of them have some slight amount of magic in them. The rock, the, the steel hard ivy thing is, has a good, fair bit of transmutation magic in it. Um, the finger has divination magic uh, attached to it, out of, of all things. Um, the, there's all sorts of just like really random things, like all of them seem to be vaguely magical of different types and functions, like it would take you hours to identify everything. Hmm. Drone! Wow. Is there anything in particular you would like to look for? If so, I could tell you if it's there, but otherwise there's just no Um, any sort of like, specifically like magical items? All that of could, them are slightly magical. Well, that could, but like, potentially have like a use, if that makes sense. So, like, things that may have been made by an artificer. You find nothing that resembles artifice in here. Okay. Makes sense. I'm kind of looking around for a spell book with spells that may be new to me. Make me an investigation check. Oh. Can spell I fit in I'm not stupid. Yeah, you guys can all fit in it. I'm gonna go and. Can, I don't. Can I fit? Uh, 16. If you're doubled over, you could fit. I'll just stand outside. All right. You've got what? 16. All right. As you're poking around, you find a little secret compartment. Um, and inside you find recipes for potions. Huh. Some sort of alchemist live here? Uh, it's written in very weird notation, but if you studied it, like you could possibly translate the recipe into something you could follow. Hmm. But like just looking at it, you can tell that like the potion, like one of the potions that you see there is a potion of sleep. Um, there's another one that's a potion of true sight. Ooh. That one's very complicated thing. But the rest of them are like there's various types of medicine and things like that, but also a lot of like potions of like affliction or curses, like like even a couple of act like true curses that will change someone's soul to be afflicted. Huh. So like very varied selection. Yes. I'm- I'm gonna go to a cauldron. All right. See if it's food. There's stuff floating in it, and there's broth, and it's boiling. Does it smell like food? Uh, roll me a wisdom saving throw real fast. <laughs> Probably not food. <laughs> I don't know, I love it. Yes, it smells like food. It smells delicious. I'm gonna eat some of it. 
<laughs> I'm gonna grab a bowl and kind of have to do everything as I watch everybody else. Also, I'm I'm still just standing. Cool. Just we'll standing get to that later. I'm, I'm still just standing guard. <laughs> so I'm kind of like looking. Why? Yeah. So I'm like, I go. It's too small. I go hungry. Hmm. Well, I'm just like, how? What? What is this place? It's so weird. Um. Rita, do you know what's going on at all right now? I believe we're in an alchemist's house. And they are not showing themselves yet. Uh, hello. To the alchemist who lives here, we are just looking for directions, please. Roll persuasion. Oops. We'll get that in a minute. Incredible. 23. You're super amazing, by what? the way. Twenty-three. <laughs> for nothing, no one says anything for a moment, and then a random person like <laughs> appears just outside of the door, actually right next to you. Q. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. All right. It appears to be an old gnome woman. A gnome? Hello. Uh, you must be the owner of this house. No woman? I am. No woman? Sorry for trespassing. We knocked and the door opened itself. When a group of heavily armed young men walk, into your, walk towards your home and you're getting as old as I am, you learn to be cautious yourself. Sorry, I didn't mean to alarm you or worry you. We're just trying to leave this area to um, find a, a village. A village you seek? Well, numerous villages that I know of around here, but... What bring you here to my swamp? Uh... Well, it would be me. Uh, my gut led us here when I was trying to get us to the village. You could call it a nut to eat. Or a hunger. Stop! Are you eating? You just like... Guys, you just work. Right. You're like elbow him in the knees. Throws. Like three of them. 15. 16. 1. 10. Cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> guy sees this and absolutely freaks out. He's like, DON'T EAT IT! Great. Put it down. Oh, it's fine. I was just—I was gonna be going and eating my my dinner myself. So she wanders in, just like leaning heavily on her cane. Goes over, like grabs herself a bowl, like scoop, like ladles her up for herself a serving, and starts eating it. Also, no. <clears throat> <sighs> well, if it's directions you'd be looking for, I can send you out on your way. But traveling through the swamp at night. I'm amazed you haven't been eaten by an alligator yet. We're quite lucky. Yes, you are. You are that. Good. Good about possible answers. I'd recommend wait until morning. You can take some time, though. Uh, I don't know if we can wait till morning. Right, there may or may not be someone chasing us. What kind of a person would be chasing three young, four youngsters through the swamp? <laughs> Someone who wants something that we have, I think. <laughs> Somebody who wants us dead. <laughs> but it's unfortunate. Being alive is pretty nice. Mm. Agreed. Yes, I like being alive. Well, I'll tell you what, I can figure out where. I can probably tell you approximately how long you have before he catches here if you want. Yeah, if you could, maybe, well, we hate to owe you a favor, um, but if you could check on how far away they are, that'd be very great for us. Well, I'd be happy to check, uh, to check, to read the future for you. After all, it's what I'm here to study, but like you said, ain't no such thing as free soup. Ah, you imbecile. <laughs> So how much is your soup? It doesn't have a gold cost to it. 
you have a soul. Uh, <laughs> soul for a soup. I'm pretty soup sure it happened in the soul. Bible, right? Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, like Esau you know, sold his inheritance. Yeah, sold his inheritance for soup. Yeah, soup. <laughs> for something like that. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. Is it the New Testament? Uh, yeah, Old Testament. Old Testament. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he ended up happy in the end. After lots of trials and tribulations. Well, he was happy. You need to be <laughs> So, how about we make ourselves a deal here? Uh oh. I tell you guys how long you got before whoever's chasing you finds you. And in exchange, I get to take one thing from your stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why would you say that? Bro? She's a very nice lady. I myself <laughs> am accepting of this deal. <laughs> Jaren, uh, can we consider this deal? Can we take it off a little bit, talk about this real quick? <laughs> Thank you. Um, I nod respectfully. Try to like go in a whisper hush. No one can go Take a little soup if you want. I will pass. We can kill her. You do realize that. deal is extremely non-specific. Oh no. <laughs> not specify what she takes. And it's not something really that we, I bet we're not going to be able to pick what she takes. Perhaps we do not need to help. We simply move away as quickly as we can. It might be ideal, if, yes. If we cannot move in the moment of this rock, we are stuck here regardless of when we go out. Oh, yeah. And the other issue is, even if we don't ask her for that, there still is this guy who has to pay up. But that's not our stuff, though. It's his stuff. Well, he no. didn't. But like, she gave. Like, she at least told you what the like the cost would be material with that. He just took the thing without asking the conditions. I don't know. We, are, we all we all know who's gonna pay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he does. <laughs> We explain to them! What do we do? What do we do? I have an agreement with that, but what do we do about this one? Are we in first? No! We first should see what's in front of you. You're not evil! (laughs) 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 What? No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) Just speak up so she can hear us. Oh, no, I was kidding! <laughs> Do you say that no. in real life? <laughs> well, that was it. Well, maybe let's see. I don't know if she'll agree to that. Yeah. So, um, after much debating, um, I think we'll just stay a little bit for the night. Unless that also requires payment. Ah, oh, nah, you'll pay, you, you'll pay enough for that. Wait, what? I'm here to read dreams. That's what I do. That's why I'm in the Feywild. That's how I tell the future. We advise you not to do these things. <laughs> he scares me very much. If we could have some some shelter for the night. But if this is your place and you are studying, wouldn't you be able to change night to day? As part of your domain. I think that's my domain? Dreams. This is not your domain? I'm just here. So if this isn't yours, whose is it? Oh, there's a hag whose domain this is. Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> Last time 
Did Eli almost get seduced by a hag? That was you. Uh, I, I did almost get seduced by a hag. And then he was one. And do you know where this hag is? <laughs> we killed him in the end. Oh, no, we didn't. Ah, uh, hag moves around. <laughs> I see. Does she ever come here? Sometimes. Is she in town? Is nope, she no a town. Per- is she a particularly violent hag? No. Doesn't usually cause problems. Occasionally you'll eat your dreams and sometimes you won't wake up from that. But... Oh, right. Dugar is not sleeping a week. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I know how to keep her away. How's that? Hey, trade secrets. Can't give away everything. Unless you're willing to make a deal for that information. I have nothing to give. No, shut <laughs> up! <laughs> you have nothing that you can give me? No. no don't, don't agree to anything! Six words. <coughs> Always think six words ahead. Shut up. I wish I could can- cast silence on him. You could try. I can't, don't have the spell. I have my sword. <laughs> That's true. That's also true. <laughs> <laughs> well... This sword was a blessing to you, wasn't it? No. As I would personally. Because of your lack of intelligence, you need the sword to make up for it. <laughs> it I personally think that it would be wise for us to wait the night, but I don't know if we should use I'm in agreement with this. So I don't and then leave as soon as the light starts. Sorry. It's okay. So I say, well. Did you come with a bite? No, no, I just shift a little bit. Hold back a little bit. I. I say we stay the night, gentlemen, I because no, no. I don't want to get eaten by an alligator. Or a hag. Or a hag, yes, that too. I don't think it's the hag we have to worry about when we're awake. I think she's a hag. Oh, thank you. Thank you um, for the information. <laughs> I am now more terrified. Is there... No problem! Is there a, a nickname we can call you? I know names are tricky here. So, hence why I'm asking nickname. Yeah, you can call me Bella. 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 Yeah, Bella. You got it right the first time. Okay. Listen, you young whisper whippersnappers. It's a little bit hard to talk once you've been smoking for your whole life. Hmm? Yeah, that makes sense. Bell. Uh, well, thank you, Bell. Anyways, <laughs> um, where may we? Probably gotta stay, should probably sit inside the hut. I don't think any of y'all are gonna fit on my bed. That's fair, yeah, no, well, I, that's won't. just fine. That's <laughs> fine by us. As long as y'all are here, I'm gonna stay up and I'm gonna be watching your dreams all night. All right, thank Makes you. Makes sense. Um, we'll get out of your hair. Duger's gonna take a long rest to make Galti again. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm gonna stay up and keep watch. I will also stay up and keep watch. Like, so neither of you are going to take a long rest? I'll, I'll take, take a, one. I'll take a long rest. Okay. Fine. Not fine here. How about you? Superstitious. Alright, I'm going to eventually, at some point in the night, need you to make me a constitution saving throw for avoiding exhaustion. Yeah. But not yet. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you go to sleep. You, my friend, are going to have an interesting night. But now is going to be a good time to take our break. (laughs) All right. Darn food poisoning. (laughs) Worse. No, 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 no. You have eaten amazing food. That was great food. And it was actually, yes, food. That's good to know. That's the problem. It was. You've eaten food. All righty. So, time to... Will Burning Whisper survive yet his most recent interesting decision? Will the rest Critical of the party wonder. survive it either? <laughs> Will Galti come back with any new fun upgrades? Find out all these things next time on, on Dungeons Dragon and Dingus. <laughs> Sorry, I got excited. Dragon Ball Z, let's go. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Adios.